My name's Pat with my 51 Chevy at uh, Dino's Get Down. We came upon this truck with a picture at Grumpy's Auto that doesn't exist anymore. It was just a picture on a billboard in the shop. And we called the guy, asked him to send us a couple pictures down. He is up in Red Lake, Arizona, lives out in the woods. And so we just rented a car hauler, went up there sight unseen, and he had this truck and he had a 56 Chevy, long bed though, and started this baby up and pulled it right up on a trailer. Of course, it did not look like this. It was pretty messed up. He couldn't fix it up anymore and he wanted to sell it to somebody who would redo it, maybe put it in a parade and send him pictures of it. I've not done the parade part yet. Actually, it was going to be my husband's truck. And then my husband found one at an auto show that he liked. So I said, I was born in 51, I'll take the 51. When we got the truck home, we took every part of it off, door down to the bare chassis, sanded it, primered it, painted the chassis. We put a 350 Chevy engine in it, carbureted. My husband put new brakes on it and then we started doing a little bit of work on off on off but it was taking us a long time to do and then we realized once we put an engine in there we had to move the firewall back about four inches so we went to good guys got hold of a guy there that does firewalls went up to chino valley got the firewall and he asked us are you doing the truck yourself we said, yeah, but it's been taking us a while. He gave me a gentleman's name up in Prescott at the Hidden Hot Rod Shop. And he's got a, a guy there that does all the fabrication, all the work on it, named Tim Brush. He was awesome. So I went to him and he said, I don't do this for a living. This is just a hobby. Let me look at your project. He came down to our home down in Phoenix and it was in pieces. He put in a new suspension, he put in a new uh, engine, he put an LS5 in here, put in my vintage air conditioning in here, everything I pretty much wanted. He made a deal with a paint shop up there that if his guy sanded everything and got it ready, then they could just take it over so it wouldn't cost as much for the paint job. First, I was gonna go with all solid one color and he said, well, Pat, and I go, well, maybe two-tone. So I wanted to go silver. And he said, well, then let's do two different silver. So we ended up with four different colors. And then I picked out which was going to be on the body, what was going to be on the cab. And then I picked out the color for the paint stripe in the middle. The seats are out of a Chrysler. It's a third row seat out of a Chrysler. I had the original seat, but it was so trashed. So I pulled the seat out and the seat belts out out of a, you know, pull you pull you pull apart yourself thing. It still is a truck <laughs> and it is an older truck, but driving it's got great suspension on the road. It turns nice. I mean, it's a piece of cake to drive. It's a dream to drive. We just drive, I pretty much drive it mostly around town. You know, Scottsdale, out to Tempe. I drove this as my everyday driver for two years. This is the only vehicle I had. And then my husband said I was pushing the envelope. Somebody's going to hit me. Somebody's going to scratch it. So you better get another vehicle. So I ended up getting another vehicle, but I drive this one or two days a week. The wheels, I, I saw the wheels on one of the gentlemen in the, the gentleman's shop that did my truck. He had them on one of his vehicles and I said, those are the wheels I would like to have. And he said, I'll try and get them. He couldn't get them. He took them off of one of his vehicles. Hidden, hidden hot rod shop up in Prescott. When I ordered my radio, I didn't realize it had a iPod connector in it, so he wound that in through my ashtray in my truck, which is pretty cool, so I can just put it on there. And I've got a USB port underneath the dash, so that was a little bit of a bonus for me. And you get a lot of people do the thumbs up, including police when they pass you. 